Building champions in Raid Shadow Legends is not easy. I'm one of those players that has reached level 90 and I've been playing every day since the game has launched. With all those battles fought, I have a decent understanding on how to build certain champions and with my resource management efficiency approach and budget builds in mind, I want to share what my champions looked like after all this time in 2021. But before I get to that, here's a quick reminder on how you can support this channel for full-time content creation. I do do play other gotcha games, for example, a Summoner's Glory, the only game that I know where you can actually help other players summon to get better drops. You can enter the promo code BGE during character creation to get free in-game loot. Or this other game that I can afford to play every day, and this one really feels like a mobile game because you have instant battles. You can enter the promo code Bionic before level 15 to get free in-game loot. All download links will be in the description and comment section. Today's build is going to be on Arbiter, our ultimate prize for completing the missions. I know it might sound very simple and it's all about speed, but for me, she has evolved quite a bit over time and more recently with the addition of the Doom Tower, there's actually a couple of things now that I'm looking for a little bit more than just speed. Also, from what I understand, some of the end game PvP players are actually saying that perhaps it's not just all about speed. I will also point out that all these builds will be on this Google Sheet, basically all my guides along with the Fusion uh, Sheet all the way at the end. I will now cover each of these champions one by one for a complete look at my account after all this time. I will also put a hyperlink to the build video on the champion name. So if ever you guys uh, miss some of the other videos I'm going to release, you can always go back to here and just click on that. So the first thing I want to cover about Arbiter is where she was when I first got her, right? So being a really important champion, or once you're able to complete those missions, you have the ability to build around Arbiter for pretty much all the dungeons, and it can work relatively well. For example, the Dragon's Lair in under two minutes with the team you see right here. Fire Knight, we had about two minutes and 47 seconds with this team right here. Then we had the Ice Golem with this team right here. Yes, I do have a Torment in there, but uh, I was able to fuse that champion. And also Spider's Den, same thing. Arbiter was still kind of crucial to make this work. And in this case, we had Torment to add some crowd control so that our ultimate Galen Coldheart can do their job. We had a mint in 20 seconds. I did have faster teams back then, but what Arbiter added to these teams is consistency. So going from like a 25% success rate or maybe 50% success rate team to 100% makes a tremendous difference on your resources. As for the arena, Arbiter has had a permanent place on this team for just about the longest time. Ever since I got Arbiter, she's been my speed lead for Ever. I have been using this team here for gold for arena for over a year probably. Yes, I could probably do better if I would want to push for let's say platinum, but I'm not in a hurry to do that. So she will continue to be on this team. As for tag arena, she's definitely also a speed lead for one of these teams, but I don't typically use uh, the same one that I do on the classic. I think I use this one here most of the time, which has been working relatively well for this purpose. The other place I use Arbiter every day is of uh, the hard doom tower or normal doom tower for all the floors not necessarily all the bosses but this team right here has carried me through all the floors so far i am just about uh finished with the hard doom tower i would assume it is still going to work i have a technique to manual the last couple of floors for this to still work even though i don't really use a reset of the skills but guys arbiter the way she is geared on my account is really crucial for this to work and that is exactly why i'm saying that it's not just about speed but now let's go check out her gear which is on my account still all about speed sets but there is one other stat that i will give a little bit of priority over just raw speed and that is a resistance again that has to do with the hard doom tower so if i want that team to work and not get frozen all the time i don't have a reliable block debuffs champion although i'm about to get under priest brognite this means i have to push for values of close to 350 or more 333 is okay ish but if you guys remember uh the stats of the hard doom tower for example irgoth here has 350 
accuracy. So if you want to be comfortable with a resistance arbiter, I would say maybe even aim for 370. It used to be a little bit less for the other towers, if I'm not mistaken. Here's the previous one. We had Sorath, uh, which had about 300 accuracy. So my arbiter was in fact used against Sorath. She had plenty with 333 resistance. But now I'm going to say if you can manage again to get a little bit more, might be worth considering. Also, if you can get a resistance chest and still have good defensive stats, maybe you can work with that. It wasn't quite possible for me. Uh, so the rest of the pieces here are just all about speed, number one, and then resistance. I even have a flat defense gloves because this is my only quadruple roll on speed gloves in the game, which is technically still a little bit better than a triple roll on a six star epic piece. I have yet to have even one legendary uh, speed piece with a triple speed roll. So guys, it takes forever. Two years into this game, haven't done all those dragon runs. This is all I'm able to work with. I'm also trying to use the refresh accessory. So I do have flat defense here. I would go for flat defense amulet, but the only one that I had that had good resistance and a little bit of accuracy is a crit damage one. And finally for the banner, like I said, resistance with unfortunately only one roll on that uh, speed substat. But I do have, I believe, uh, this one right here, which could give me an extra six speed, but I'm more than happy to sacrifice that little bit of speed to instead have a little bit more resistance. So here's how the build looks on my guide section. So she is a priority number one champion. By that, I mean she's going to get the best possible speed gear with resistance that I can possibly get. 347 speed. She's basically a little bit of a joke for platinum. I have a lot of work to do. Flat defense gloves. It could be defense percent. It would be better. Chest piece defense percent. It could be resistance. Speed boots. We do have refresh defense ring. We should have ideally refresh uh, defense amulet and a refresh resistance banner as for the sets three speed sets but i'll tell you guys this right now apparently the platinum players are going for immunity sets uh for their arbiters and some of them can easily push above 347 speed with immunity gear so as you can see I'm not even close to that getting this sorry to work. Use number one, arena, use number two, dungeons, uh, sorry, doom tower, and use number three, dungeons every now and then, mainly just the ice column for now. Let's check out her masteries. And they've obviously changed quite a bit over time, but this is sort of what I have settled with for now. I am using a timely intervention. I suppose I could be trying to use unshakable here for a little bit more resistance, but like I said before, at 330, and the fact that I don't use her against Irigoth right now I'm not too worried about that extra uh, resistance but timely intervention will come in pretty clutch uh, especially when your champions start dying of course I think that cycle of revenge also is really really good here we do have evil eye I don't have enough accuracy for this to really matter in the arena or even of the doom tower but eventually if I can squeeze out a little bit more accuracy I think that would be amazing rapid response we do have some accuracy here we also have uh, exalt in death a little bit more resistance right there and then the rest is pretty self-explanatory so there you have it guys that's a quick breakdown of my arbiter after two plus years again make sure you keep checking out that little guide section for all the updated builds of my champions in 2021 let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later